Good morning students. Today we are going to study about a new topic that is atmospheric refraction. Means uh, first you are going to study about the twinkling of star in that uh, you have a concept called atmospheric refraction. Okay. So before going to the twinkling of star or how the uh, star twinkles. Okay. All these things you are going to study in this uh, lesson. lesson. Okay. So, why stars twinkle? There is a reason behind this or a concept is there that is called as atmospheric refraction. First, you will study about the atmospheric refraction and then we will go for the twinkling of stars. So, what is atmospheric refraction? Refraction you have studied. With the help of prism, I have explained you how the light incident on the prism, then inside that it bends. Why it bends? If you have seen in the prism, Okay, light incident on the prism, after that inside it bends, means what light enters from a rarer medium to the denser medium. So whenever the light enters from a rarer medium to the denser medium, the light always bends. Okay, there is a bending of light. So same concept is there, it is with our atmosphere. In atmosphere also if you will see, so what happens uh, as you know, all the stars, sun, moon, all are uh, in vacuum okay all are present in the vacuum condition if you see it is out of our uh, earth okay so if you will see all that moon stars all these are in the vacuum so in vacuum uh, the condition is rarer condition okay in vacuum the condition is rarer condition and uh, when it enters into our earth surface okay in our earth surf surface there is atmosphere and because of that atmosphere what happens our this becomes a uh, denser medium okay so here also what happens when the stars are twinkling or uh, when the light comes from moon or stars what happen it enters from a rarer medium to the denser medium that time what happened there is a bending of light why it bends because of the atmosphere means here also refraction occurs because of atmosphere that's why it is called as atmospheric refraction if you will see a refraction of light caused by earth's atmosphere is called atmospheric refraction okay the uh, refraction caused by our earth's atmosphere understood why because atmosphere acts as a denser medium and in vacuum uh, it uh, vacuum acts as a rarer medium so whenever the light from moon or sun uh, or uh, stars it enters to our earth surface what happens? it crosses the rarer medium of it enters from a rarer medium to the denser medium whenever it enters into the denser medium as you know in our earth there is atmosphere there are many layers you have studied okay different different layers you have studied stratosphere mesosphere okay or in or from all that layers if you i have seen i have drawn over here these are the layers of the earth's atmosphere so the light have to cross several layers and uh, then only it reaches to us okay so while uh, entering different different layers what happened there are large numbers of dust particles small small uh, particles are there oxygen air uh, molecules are there okay you know nitrogen is present in uh, air okay so what happened the light have to cross many barriers after each and every uh, layer what happened it bends every time whenever it comes in contact with any particle what happened there is a bending of light and because of this bending what happened a uh, refraction okay atmos because it is an atmospheric refraction that uh, so in atmospheric refraction you are going to study few examples that is you will study twinkling of star it is an example of atmospheric refraction second is advanced sunrise and delayed sunset this is also one example of uh, atmospheric uh, refraction okay this all are our daily life uh, example but reason what is the reason behind this that you will study in this lesson this part is very important as it is not uh, deleted okay this portion is there for your exam so you have to do it properly uh, listen carefully okay now why, uh, first example we'll see the twinkling of stars why stars twinkle as you know uh, if you are you have studied planet you have studied star okay different between planets and stars also you have uh, studied so uh, as you know you have uh, uh, in difference between you have written that stars twinkle planet do not twinkle so what is exactly okay what is twinkling of star twinkling means what light on off like this any condition is there of stars okay what is the main reason that you are going to study 
सो इन स्टार इफ यू विल सी स्टार एमिट देयर ओन लाइट के स्टार एमिट देयर ओन लाइट सो वॉट हैपन यू कैन सी आई हैव ड्रॉन द डायग्राम दिस इज द स्टार ओके दे आर इन वैक्यूम कंडीशन एज यर इट इज वैक्यूम कंडीशन सो हियर मीडियम इज रेर मीडियम यू नो लाइट ट्रेवल्स वेरी फास्टर इन वैक्यूम ओके देर इज नो एनी डिस्टर्बेंस फॉर द लाइट सो इन वैक्यूम सो लाइट ट्रेवल्स फास्ट इन वैक्यूम वॉट इज द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन वैक्यूम थ्री इंटू टेन रेज टू एट मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके सो इन रेर मीडियम लाइट इज वेरी फास्ट एज द स्टार एंटर्स द अर्थ लेयर दिस इज द अर्थ ओके अर्थ when it enters into the the light from the star it enters the earth surface then what happens as you know there are many layers of atmosphere the light enters into the uh, atmospheric layers okay when it enter that time what happens that uh, you can see here now as i have told you that star continuously emit their own light okay they are continuously emitting there is no any on off or uh, anything okay it continuously it is emitting the light the difference is the earth's atmosphere which uh, acts as a barrier for the light so that what happens if there is a little bit uh, less density in the atmosphere then what happens light can easily pass if there is more density air density if there is more air density then light needs little time to cross that barrier and then only it reaches so because of this what happens you can see sometime you can see brighter if there is less dense air density then light can easily travel through that and it reaches us to our eye as a br bright light of the star but uh, suppose in this atmosphere uh, here uh, there is large amount of air at this point okay here here also there is a large amount of air so what happens there is a bending so when light is coming straightly from this star what happens it has entered this layer here there is more density of air so what happens light have to bend because it is moving from a denser medium density is there more density of air is there so what happens light is enter into denser medium when it denser medium it enters what happen i have shown you here bending of light here again it bends okay then again it moves like this here again it has found more density of air then what happened again it has bent like that bending takes place everywhere where where there is more density of light if there is less density of light what happened uh, it can easily pass and it reaches to our eyes so here because now you can see the first uh, line it don't have more air density so it has directly reached uh, to our eye means this uh, ray will uh, give you a bright light to our eye and this ray you can see uh, several time it has done many bendings so this will uh, reach a little bit slowly to our eye because of this uh, atmospheric barrier and when it reaches this will show you a dim light and continuously bright dim bright dim light you will see and because of this you uh, see that there is a twinkling of stars actually stars are continuously emitting the light okay it is same as if you will take a torch and if you will on a torch what happens you can see a continuously emitting uh, light but you will put your hand in front of your torch what you will see torch is on but what you will see you cannot see any light if you remove your hand you will see a light okay same same if you will do many times what you will see you will see twinkling of light a uh, twinkling okay so that phenomenon is only called as twinkling means star is emitting continuously light but what happens because of this air density the light cannot reach continuously to our eyes at what you can see you can see a twinkling pattern or twink twinkling sensation you will feel about the stars okay actually they are continuously emitting the uh, light okay so uh, this is rarer medium earth's atmosphere it, it enters into the denser medium so that is bending this was simple concept it is so you can see a uh, white twinkling of star occurs it is due to the atmospheric refraction of light okay here you can say light travels from a vacuum to the earth surface that is from rarer medium to the denser medium it travels and because of this what happens it has to cross many atmospheric layers so there is an atmospheric refraction and because of this you can see the twinkling of stars i hope you all have understood this concept
now we are going to study about the second example of refraction uh, atmospheric refraction that is advanced sunrise and delayed sunset this is very interesting topic uh, and uh, so you can uh, we are going to study some uh, different some interesting concept in this now see what is advanced sunrise means uh, you at morning you have seen the sunrise okay but what actually happened see you have never thought about this but see this is a very interesting concept this is the earth okay and this is the sun okay in this concept you are going to study about that sun is visible about 2 minute before okay actually sun is not rising but you are seeing 2 minutes before it okay before sunrise you will see and when the sun has set that time after 2 minutes you can see the sun this is very interesting see now actually how it happens how this concept is there this is the earth this is the sun okay uh, you know you all know horizon what is horizon horizon is a uh, means when you are standing at a mountain and you can see how much far you can see your eyesight can see the distance how much far at infinity till that a uh, part it is called as horizon now here i have drawn a, this spot means here an observer is standing uh, and so horizon will be what means this much from his line okay uh, now actually what is horizon i am standing here but what i can see i can see only at my range range of vision you have studied okay in his range whatever he can see till here suppose this person can see only till here okay with uh, his eyes so that is the horizon in this horizon the person cannot see below this okay below horizon uh, anyone uh, cannot see this uh, anything okay if you are standing here means at this horizon above the horizon you can see everything but below horizon you cannot see anything so here see this so now what happens at the time of sunrise here suppose the sun is here okay it is below the horizon but after few minutes what happen it will come above the horizon at this condition see what happens here the sun is there below the horizon and it is about to come up so that time what happens suppose a person is standing on the earth and he uh, sun is at below the horizon sun is below the horizon but the person can see the sun here okay see here see this concept sun is below the horizon but he can see the sun here how he can see it is still 2 minutes below after 2 minutes it will come up but before 2 minutes only we can see the sun rise how we can see it is because of atmospheric refraction here also refraction is there now as the sun you know sun emits sunlight so when it is below the horizon then also what happens it is emitting its light okay it is emitting its light so uh, now you can see the sun ray it comes directly falls actually the sun is here okay this i have drawn a actual condition okay now see here in this diagram this is the earth here what you can see this is the earth's atmosphere and an observer is standing over here at this condition this green color line is the horizon it means it's eye level okay and this is horizon below this the sun is but he can see the sun over here how he can see it is because uh, the shifting uh, shifting why the shift occurs that is this is the sun so when the sun is rising uh, what happens the rays from the sunlight it uh, passes through uh, about the horizon okay as you have studied that atmospheric refraction so the light from this sun which is coming out it enters to the layer earth layer so when it enters in this layer what happens If there is a bending as i have told you that it uh, enters from the rarer medium to the uh, denser medium what happens there is a bending of light okay so actually this bending of light uh, you can see here this is the earth's atmosphere this is a person standing on the earth so here what happens you can see the light from the sun falls on the 
atmosphere and because of this there is a bending of light okay when this sunlight falls on the earth's atmosphere there is a bending of light because light falls from the rarer medium to the denser medium and there is a bending of light and the light falls on the observer's eye okay and when the light falls on the observer's eye so what happen the observer thinks that if you will extend this light okay the observer's uh, this line if you will extend you will see here the sun will be means the a person will think that the sun is here but actually the sun is below the horizon understood what happens again once more i will explain you here the sun is below the horizon but what happened the sun rays which falls uh which are falling out that falls on the atmosphere and there ha what happened there is a bending of uh, light because of uh, traveling from rarer medium to the denser medium there is a bending of light and light bends and it falls on our eyes and because the light is falling what happens uh, we feel that the sun is here means if you will extend this light uh, see i will extend if you will extend this actually it should be straight but uh, if you will extend this means the person will feel that sun is here okay in our i said but actually what happened that the light has bent and because of this phenomena you can see 2 minutes earlier sunrise understood same for the sunset in sunset also what happens you can see here same diagram i will draw again here i will draw it properly now now you can see this is same this is the earth here the person is standing on the earth Okay this is the earth atmosphere here is our sun Okay and the sunlight falls now same now you are going to study this oppositely oppositely means what you will study now now as it is delayed sunset now you are going to study is delayed sunset now what happened now inversely now sun is going below the horizon from above the horizon sun will go below now now in this condition what happens see Okay, now sun is going below because now it is sun set. Sun is setting now. This is the sun. So here sun is setting means what happened? It is going down. Now what happened? See, sun has gone down. Okay, sun has set now. After setting, what happened? See, still it is giving out light. So the same light falls on the atmosphere. It again bends down. Now sun has set down. now when sun has set down what happened it has given its light it has again bending and this bending if we will see behind so this uh, you can see means actually the sun has set down but still you can see the sun is there because of the atmospheric refraction in first condition there was 2 minute delay and in this condition also you will see 2 minutes delay totally 2 plus 2 we are seeing that there is a 4 minute delay okay in first condition it was 2 minute delay here also sun has set but still you can see the sun in first condition what you have see sun is about to rise but before that only you can see the sunrise so these are the two conditions so how much minutes delay sun is 2 minutes before uh, sunset and 2 minutes uh, after sunset means th this is the delay 4 minute delay you can see okay so this is the condition it means that this is the advanced sunset and advanced uh, delayed sunset uh, because it is because of the atmospheric refraction okay just very simple concept what happens because of the atmosphere there is a bending of light and so what happens the person can see it earlierly or it can uh, you can you can see it is delayed okay why sun uh, looks oval at the sunset or before sunrise you can see when the sun comes above the horizon you can see a, an oval shape okay why it looks oval because uh, you you have studied that as the sun uh, is how much below it is at the horizon that much shifted up you can see so if you will see the points of the sun uh, two points are there sun's above point and below point if you will see see this is the if you will see this is the sun at the horizon and here and if you will see this point and if you will see this point so okay 
this is the sun this is the below horizon sun is when the sun is at this so what happened this is the above point this is the above point when this above point uh, as this is very near to the horizon so it will remain as it is but as the distance as i have explained to you as the distance is uh, more at the as it will go below the horizon what happen it will shift upward you it uh, you can see the shift it is more upward so if you will see this uh, starting point is near to the horizon and here so that's why this distance will remain as it is but if you will see the end point of the sun to the horizon this distance is farther as compared to this so as it is farther so what happens you will see the shift that is you can see this as like this this point shifted upward and because of this what happens near to the horizon you can see see the sun is oval in shape okay this is the reason behind it